city of mine how i love how i love the city of mine what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl lorna marie and today for you i'm bringing you a minimal what's in my bag everything you will see here today is from amazon i will post all the links for you guys down below and without further ado let's hop into the video I have this adorable crossbody, or you can wear it like a fanny pack bag from Amazon. It is definitely my minimal bag. I do a lot of kits and bags. They call me the kit queen here. The reason why is because everything inside of here is probably everything you will need when you're out in public. I like to be prepared at all times. I am a mama for on the go and a full-time RVer. So making sure I have everything is definitely a necessity. So when I carry this bag, this is when I'm out on the town and I'm running errands and I'm doing things here and there now if I am going out and we're doing like a day excursion we're going somewhere with the kids going to multiple restaurants hiking whatever I have a hiking bag that's separate and then I also have a day bag that this bag will go inside of so that way I don't have to carry my big day bag which I used to I would just carry on a huge backpack all the time now I have made this more smaller and minimal which I absolutely love so let's show you what's inside this bad boy This bag is very small, so if you're used to carrying a larger amount of things, you might have some struggles. I definitely did, so I had to pick my bare necessities, the things that I need on me the most. And this bag also has a zipper in the back here. I like putting like extra necessities in here that I wanna access quickly. And then in the front here, you will see some familiar items. It also has a zipper in the very back right here. The color of the inside is light, so you wanna keep that in consideration. Also, there are so many colors of this bag on Amazon, so if you guys want black or brown, I think they even have a red color, you can get a different color. I just really thought that this one was sleek. And you guys, the material is so nice. It actually has like a texture to it, so it's not just like snake print, it actually has a texture and it makes it look more authentic, but I promise you no snakes were hurt in the creation of this bag. <laughs> so we're gonna kinda do this Vogue edition I'm going to answer some questions about my bag throughout the video. What this particular bag says about me is still stylish, but absolutely functional and definitely prepared. I, we're going to start off by showing you everything inside, but we're going to start off in the back here. So as you open this zipper, it stretches all the way across the bag, which I love. And if you guys can see here too, I just love how it has, it's kind of a antiqued gold, which I like that because if you wanted to wear silver with this, I feel like it wouldn't clash too much. But I do like that it's gold because I mostly do wear gold. So if you can see on the top here, I have two lipsticks. I was actually wearing these yesterday. So I have those sitting on the top here. We have a NYX red lipstick in hot red and then we have a bite beauty and this is in pomegranate and it's nice because I'm not going to carry a lot of lip products but the ones that I am using I'll just slide them on the top and the back and I can access them very easily so then sitting on the top here I have this pen I love it so much my friend Charmaine actually here on YouTube I found this from her but it is a 0.3 the smallest I ever had was a 0.5 this is more like a pen that writes like a pencil and I love it so much so if you guys are interested this is a great pen I got off of Amazon then inside this was actually supposed to be on top there but this is an alarm this is an alarm you pull this out I don't want to pull it out right now but it has an alarm and it's really really loud so if you're walking to your car and somebody sketches there or whatever just pull that bad boy and let it rip let the sound go let the world know that you see the sketchy people next up I have this it's actually missing something I will put it right here it's a single wipe I could not fit my pack of wipes in here which I was really disappointed about my husband kept hearing me make grunting noises and he was like what is going on I was just so frustrated I could not fit everything that I wanted in my bag because I loved having Having wipes on me as a mom but I did find individual wipes which I have on the way and they will be fitting in here with these Clorox wipes so I can only fit individual wipes but I think that's totally fine 
as long as I can fit some wipes in here, it's good. We were recently really sick, and for me, it is top priority to wipe everything down. So I have Clorox wipes. I know they're chemicals. They're not good for you. But to be honest with you, at this point, I'd rather have chemicals than feeling super sick. I was sick for three weeks. It was a nightmare. So we have that, and the little individual hand wipes will go in here. Then we have hand sanitizer. This is the Touchland Glow Mist, and this is in rose. This is rose water scented best hand sanitizer ever even my whole family was like oh my gosh that smells so good it comes out in a very fine mist so keep that in mind it's not what you're used to and i felt like i had to use a little bit more than i thought i would so then i have a tied to go stick i cannot live without this so that also goes in this little back pocket here this is not a necessity to keep in my purse but i like keeping it in here my husband and i went on a date day we were in sedona and i really wanted to find a rock or a crystal at a store that was really special to me but as we were on the trip before we even got to a store I reached into my bag and I had just bought this so it really symbolized for me that this is the one I'm supposed to keep on me and then as we went on the trail we found flowers like a whole bunch of flowers that were exactly this color so it was really nice all right next up we have some perfume I just have the one from Victoria's Secret I don't think you can get this on Amazon but I'm sure there's some other roller balls I can link for you guys down below all right and that is everything in this back pocket here it fits so much as you can see just in this back pocket so perfume goes down first then I have my Tide stick then I have my pen and then we have the sanitizer on the side of that and then we have the wipes and my little crystal. All right, so now we're gonna open the inside here. As you can see on the top, everything is kind of in here like file folders. I like everything to be organized like that. So I put it exactly in the same place that it was in before so I can easily find things because if you just keep throwing stuff in your bag, you're not gonna be able to find your stuff. It's gotta go in an order and it has to make sense to you. So in the very back pocket, I am not carrying my wallet because I wanted to show you guys, I just got a new phone case. I love this case so much. I had a tan one, a brown. I really wanted a lighter color, but it just does not work for me. It gets dirty and it just doesn't work. But on the inside here, you have a place to put your cards and then I have a little bit of extra cash and you can actually sit your phone up on the table when the little flaps open. And I think it's really nice, I like it a lot. Now the strap that came with it was cheap and I didn't prefer it. You can keep it on there, but I actually took from one of my Louis Vuitton bags, I took the strap off, which has like the little Louis symbols and then it's black on the other side. So I thought it would look really good and I just love it, it looks so sleek. So that's my wallet. I don't really need to carry a wallet, but I do carry extra cash in one of these little zipper pouches inside of the little zipper flap right here. Also, if you guys are not following me on Instagram, definitely check me out. I give a day-to-day -day over there. I do some reels, some tips and tricks. So you guys will love it. Definitely follow me there if you're not following me yet. Now, you know your girl's gotta have some Q-tips and some wisps. Somebody asked me, why do I have my Q-tips in here with my wisps? Because I only use these Q-tips if it's an emergency. I'm cleaning my ears out at home, you know what I mean? But if it's an emergency, it is what it is. All right, so the Wisp are a little tiny toothbrush. They have a little bit of dry toothpaste. You can just brush your teeth, super nice, and then obviously floss. So that is in the back here. And then I have this other little pouch, which has my drink stuff. We have Stevia, we have honey. I have one packet of tea, because sometimes I don't like the flavors that they offer places. Then I have my Amazing Greens powder, which is an individual one. And then we also have a the liquid hydration packs. And I just like having all of these. It folds pretty flat, which I like. And then right next to that, I have my little Louis Vuitton coin purse. These are all authentic. I don't have any ones that um, you can buy off of Amazon, but I'm sure you could look them up. What I have in here is my new favorite external battery. I love this, you guys. Look how sleek it is. It is so small, and what's so cool is it comes with different attachments. So obviously mine's an iPhone. I have an iPhone attachment here, and you plug it in. You There's another little plug to charge it, but it's just so sleek and small and perfect for this minimal bag. I can just slide it in here, stick it inside. It's protected and ready to go. I think I'm gonna take this little guy off. I haven't decided yet, 
but we'll leave it on for now. Next up, we have my little tiny, tiny little baby makeup pouch, which I think is perfect. Let me show you everything that is inside of here. So I got a pack of these pouches on Amazon. There's all different sizes. I am just in love with these. They're super easy to wipe clean. They're not the most aesthetically pleasing, but they're thin and they fit in small bags. Like I know you guys know what this is. If you're one of my followers, I just did an, what's in my EDC bag. I'm gonna kind of go over it a little bit in this video, not as in depth, but that pouch is very thick, which I love it. I think it's beautiful, but I might be transferring this pouch to a bigger bag and having a smaller pouch for all my EDC stuff in here. Okay, so what was in there, I have three lip products and I just wanna keep these on me. I would love to slide in a tiny little liner. I have not found one yet, but this is just a soft matte lip cream from NYX and this is in the shade Abu Dhabi, Abu Dhabi. And then we have a Jouer lip. So this is clear, which my whole family can use this. That's why I have this one. And then I have this sugar petal, which is more of like a tinted lip treatment. So this one's more for me. I like having, you know, one on me just in case my family needs it. Then I have in one of those little pouches, just two hair ties and some bobby pins. These are short bobby pins, you guys. They are the absolute best. If you guys use bobby pins, definitely do the shorter ones. I don't know why they make them longer. They just fit in so much better and they're tighter and I just, they're so good. Next up, we have these two brushes. I've had these for years. I don't know if you can find this one anymore. It's a travel size Japanese brush. And then I have just a little shader brush. It's just to blend my eyeshadow if I start creasing and this is for under my eyes. Then we have a Charlotte Tilbury little mini one. And this is in, I think the third shade which is like a medium cover color. And then you use this brush, the Japanese brush to get out any creases that you may have or any shine you've got going on which oh we definitely did so this is definitely going to help because it is hot up in here we have this little pouch here you guys have seen this before like i said this is my edc pouch and i it's everything you guys this is more of a survival pouch this is not makeup and things you would normally keep in a purse this is like if shit hits the fan and I've got to survive. I have a compass in here. I have a tool with duct tape. I have some medication and some water purifying tabs. If you guys want a more in-depth video, I will link it in the eye above and down below. It will go in way more depth of all this stuff, but super glue. This is one thing I did add, you guys, if you saw the last video, I did not have super glue in there, but I added that. We have all the different pins, rubber bands, a little first aid thing, which I go in depth with it in my other video. I have fire starters. I have uh, women's feminine products. And then it also has like a little bit of a card slot here. And just in there I have, I added this. I was telling you guys I was going to, they are sheets for soap. If your bathroom is out of soap, then I just have some extra cash. Uh, a little thing of hand sanitizer and a wipe. Then I also added this, you guys didn't see it, a little tiny miniature sewing kit. And that is all for the little pouch here. And what you guys saw in my other EDC bag, these tool bags were inside of this pouch, but I did remove them so they would fit properly. If you can see the shape of this bag, there's like this rounded part. So the pouch doesn't fit in there. So I actually set the tools at the bottom inside of here. And then I put the pouches and different things on top of there just so it makes it more rounded it actually fits better and that's why i'm considering getting a different pouch that's not as thick just for this bag because this bag is very minimal i did add a couple things in here you guys already saw the tweezer the clipper and the little tiny lighter but i did add this tiny little can opener that i already had i didn't show this to you guys and then i also have this magnet i showed it to you on the video a picture of it but this is very strong you can pick up keys up you can put a piece of rope that i'm getting ready to show you you can get your fish your keys out of a drain or whatever but this is definitely a nice thing to have so that all goes in here and another thing that i added in here you guys already saw i have a little tiny pen that is retractable i have a little tool this is by gerber it's got a grippers on it there's a knife there's a bunch of different tools on there i go a little bit more in depth on my other video and then i added this string it's very tiny it's so much smaller than paracord but it's very very strong i just rolled some up and it slides right into this little pouch here so it fits perfectly and if you guys haven't done so yet definitely pause hit the subscribe and the bell notification so you never miss out on a video if I could only have five things out of this bag, for sure, number one would be hand sanitizer. 
gotta have it number two would be floss you guys already know then it would be my little first aid kit i have little kids so if they get boo-boos or somebody gets a headache gotta have that then it would be my lip treatment the tinted kind because i'm selfish like that and I, that's my favorite if you guys haven't tried this one by sugar i highly recommend and then last but not least that phone charger i have to have a phone charger on me so definitely those would be my five items i would pick all right you guys i hope you enjoyed my video of my minimal bag all from amazon linking every everything down below for you guys if you haven't done so already definitely sign up for my newsletter so you guys can see what videos are coming up next thank you guys again so much for watching and until next time i'm always your girl Lorna marie bye